Hey, what's up? Welcome to another video. Okay, you can see there is a sticker here, Hans Tech Talk. And I have started to put this sticker on the back of all the smartphones that I have. Because I found that a lot of people, they use my videos as theirs. So I have tried to do something different here. And if you find any videos with this sticker anywhere, then you know that those are my videos. A lot of people have asked me whether they should go for Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro or Xiaomi Mi 10 is good enough. They have a lot of different questions, a lot of different ideas. So I thought I should go ahead and make a video between Xiaomi Mi 10 and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. I have tried to cover all the aspects like battery, camera, display, gaming. So I wish that you watch through this video and make a comment in the comment section below. Xiaomi Mi 10 and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is almost equally good. But the word Pro is there and yeah, Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is of course better. The price of Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is 720 US dollars. Actually in China the price is 4999 RMB. In other regions it's different. Xiaomi Mi 10 and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro both comes with Snapdragon 865, LPDDR5 RAM, UFS 3.0 and there are different variants available. You can choose either 8 plus 128GB or 8 plus 256 gb or 12 plus 256 gb But there is a special variant for Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro and that is 12 plus 512 gb Okay, for 8 plus 128GB variant, Xiaomi Mi 10 costs 3,999 RMB which is equivalent to 575 US dollars in China. But once again, prices are different in different regions. Xiaomi Mi 10 and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro both got UFS 3.0 storage but rear camera setup of these two are different. Only the main sensor is the same, that is 108 megapixel Samsung sensor. External design are almost the same. On top there is a IR blaster, speaker grill and a secondary noise cancellation microphone. Both of these two comes with stereo speaker setup and Dolby Atmos. Also Xiaomi Mi 10 comes with two dedicated speakers for its stereo speaker setup. There is a third speaker for earpiece. SIM tray is at the bottom. Yeah, it's a compact SIM tray, there is no SD card slot and you cannot expand storage. There is a USB-C 2.0 port and another speaker of that stereo speaker setup. Yes, I guess that you already know there is no 3.5mm port on any of this Xiaomi Mi 10 or Mi 10 Pro. On the left, nothing is there, it's totally clean. Volume rocker and power button is on the right side. You can see from this angle, both of these two smartphones got obvious camera bump at the rear. But there are some differences and we will talk about that later. Build quality of Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro seems a little better than Xiaomi Mi 10 and in hand actually both feels premium but Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro with that matte finish it feels a little better. It's my personal opinion, I feel like Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro was built with care and Xiaomi Mi 10 is almost a generic flagship. Yeah, there is a difference at the rear camera setup. You can see Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro comes with laser autofocus. On the other hand, Xiaomi Mi 10 autofocus depends on PDAF. And of course, I prefer laser autofocus. Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro comes with 108 megapixel Samsung main sensor, 12 megapixel 2x telephoto lens, 8 megapixel 5x telephoto lens, and a 20 megapixel ultra wide lens, which I love the most. On the other hand, Xiaomi Mi 10 also comes with 108 megapixel Samsung sensor, 2 megapixel macro lens, 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a 13 megapixel ultra wide lens, which doesn't work that good. I have done a separate camera comparison but here are some pictures only for your reference. Main sensor performs almost similarly in indoor, it's pretty difficult to find differences. But ultra wide lens is different and the performance of ultra wide lens is also different. Mi 10 Pro ultra wide lens produces image with more details and higher dynamic range. Main sensor in outdoor environment sometimes produces different results. Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro images sometimes is more vibrant and images produced by Xiaomi Mi 10 are sometimes a little darker than Mi 10 Pro. The main difference between these two smartphones is telephoto lens. Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro comes with two telephoto lens, one for 2x zoom and another is for 5x zoom. Xiaomi Mi 10 doesn't have any telephoto lens. Xiaomi Mi 10 and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro both comes with 6.67 inch Super AMOLED and both of the displays are great. Yeah, Xiaomi claims that JNCD and Delta E is better on Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro but really, in naked eyes, I don't feel much of a difference. Both have the same 386 pixel per inch density and 20 by 9 aspect ratio. But one thing I don't like, especially about Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is, it's a FHD plus 1080p display. 
while almost every other brand is offering QHD Plus display on their flagship smartphones, Xiaomi still sticks to FHD Plus and there is no 120Hz, it's 90Hz. I know, maybe some people will disagree, but the truth is, both of these two smartphones offers same kind of fluidity. In-game experience is great, whether I'm playing PUBG or Call of Duty, I get battery smooth fluidity. Yeah, there are not many popular games that offers 90Hz refresh rate, but with that 90Hz refresh rate on at the background, gaming on Xiaomi Mi 10 and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is awesome. And after all those updates through the last two months, neither of these two gets hot. I mean Xiaomi Mi 10 and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro stays around 40 to 42 degrees Celsius even after playing games for 2 hours and I have never seen any hint of lagging, especially after the last update and yeah for last 7 days it's really great. So if you wanna buy a smartphone for gaming not for the camera purpose then I think Xiaomi Mi 10 offers better value than Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. As mentioned earlier, Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro and Xiaomi Mi 10 both comes with two options, 60Hz that saves battery on 90Hz that offers better quality. Also there is anti-flicker mode, dark mode, reading mode or eye care mode. Yeah, on 90Hz it's better for sure, it's snappier, it's more responsive, it's more fluid. Nobody can portray this on a video, you have to feel it by yourself. And there is no difference while you use Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro at 90Hz side by side. Another option I like is that always on display, there are lots of styles to choose from and you can customize a lot of things. It really looks lucrative while you use this. I wish OnePlus, Oppo and others also offered this type of options on always on display. Registering fingerprint is easy, that in display fingerprint sensor works very fine and side by side Xiaomi Mi 10 and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro both works very fast, I didn't find any noticeable difference. Both got this 30W wireless charging, so that's really a great thing because most of the flagships doesn't come with that type of wireless charging speed. There are actually three differences, Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro comes with a smaller 4500mAh battery and supports 50W fast charging, I mean wear charging. On the other hand, Xiaomi Mi 10 comes with 4780mAh battery, only supports 30W wear charging, that is the same as wireless charging. I've been using these two smartphones for more than two months now and I have never felt any issues. These are flagships, for sure, in daily life usage you won't feel any difference and these offers very good performance. If you are looking for a value for money budget flagship, none of these two are for you. But if you are looking for a value for money premium flagship, then for sure, Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is for you. If you are looking for a good gaming smartphone, again, none of these two are for you. But Xiaomi Mi 10 offers better value for money. If you are looking for a camera centric flagship smartphone, obviously Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is the winner. Overall build quality, price versus performance and everything, once again. Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is the winner. Yeah, you can go for Xiaomi Mi 10 if rear camera setup is not very important for you, if you don't need that very fast 50W charging speed, if you require better battery life, if you want to have a smartphone with colorful design at the back. Other than that, I would say if you can afford to buy, then you should go for Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro because there is no other flagship smartphones that comes with this cheap price tag and comes with same or better spec sheet and offers all those features. Okay, if this video was helpful, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. When you